A prayer to ask for God's cover and watch over you. Psalms 91 verses 9 to 12 Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. As we all know, the world we live in is full of mysteries. According to the scriptural knowledge, one of the mysteries of this world is that the spiritual world controls the physical world that we see or feel. The spiritual world is a world that is made up of spirit beings. However, these spirit beings can influence the reality of our physical world. Angels are spiritual beings. They operate from the spiritual world, and we can see the manifestations of their influence around us in this physical world. The verse I stated at the start establishes the undisputed fact that God has given his angels charge over us to keep and direct our steps. I know this sounds amazing and desirable, but the actualization of this is not automatic. Just like any other promise in the Bible, we must put ourselves in the positions for this promise of the Lord to come into fruition in our life. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. If we can, pray this prayer every day. Let us pray. Ancient of days, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, the Most High, I come before you today to show my gratitude to you. I know that I am nothing without you. It is your love that has kept me alive and placed me where I am today. I come before you today to thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I worship you for your everlasting love and mercy over my life and the lives of the people that surround me. I am before you with full gratitude, dear Lord. Accept my worship, O God, in Jesus' name. Lord, I come before your presence today, for your word has assured me that the expectation of the righteous will never be cut short. And I am here in this hour with the full expectation that you will start fulfilling your word in my life. As it is written in your holy Bible, in Psalms 91 verse 11 to 12, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Heavenly Father, I ask that you begin to fulfill this angelic promise in my life, in Jesus' name. I have realized that you are the only one that has the power to answer all my prayers. Now this is why I am before you, Lord. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you establish this portion of your word in my life, in Jesus' name, that wherever I may go or travel, the Holy Spirit may dwell within me, and your angel may have charge over to keep me in all my ways, in Jesus' name. 
during the earthly ministry of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, while at the temple, after reading the scroll, Jesus said in Luke 4 verse 21, And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Lord, I know that there is no shadow of turning with thee. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Therefore I pray, just as you fulfilled the scripture in their lives during your earthly ministry, I am praying that you start fulfilling the scripture in Psalms 91 verses 11 to 12 in my life, in Jesus' name. I ask you, Father, that henceforth I will begin to walk in the reality of this scripture in Jesus' name. From now on, I pray that the angels of God will start protecting my going out and coming in in Jesus' name. The verse allowed me to understand in 2 Kings 6 verse 17, And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. When Elisha's steward was afraid of the king's army, Elisha prayed, and you opened the eyes of the young steward to see the host of angels that were protecting them. Standing on this scripture, I am declaring that the angels of the Lord will always arise for my defense in Jesus' name. No evil is permitted to come near my dwelling in Jesus' name. Your word says, Father, in Exodus 14, verse 14, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Father, I come before you today and continue to ask you that you may continue to fight my battles in the name of Jesus. With you fighting my battles, I will never taste defeat. I present all the battles of life that I will face and that I am facing into your hands and ask you to continue to fight for me. And one of the ways you do this is by dispatching your angels. Thank you, Lord God. Once the children of Israel were encompassed round about by their enemies, they sang praises to the living God and you miraculously sent an army of angels to destroy their foes. This has enlightened my eyes of understanding to the fact that it is possible for angels of God to constantly fight my battles for me. Henceforth, with this understanding, I place all my battles to you, and I hold my peace again. I declare that I'll never take a wrong step anymore in Jesus' name. For the angels of the Lord will keep directing my path in Jesus' name. From now on, I pray that I shall never be victim of any evil in this world anymore in Jesus' name. I declare that I'm safe and secure because the angels of God are always guarding me in Jesus' name. I'm praying in the name of Jesus that from today onward, the angels of the Lord will constantly watch over me. They shall always supply my needs in Jesus' name. I pray that before a need comes up in my life, the same God that sent an angel to the widow of Zarephath, to prepare a meal for the prophet Elijah will always send his angels to provide for every one of my needs in Jesus' name. Standing on the infallible scripture 
in Ephesians 3 verse 20, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, I declare that I shall never lack any good thing that my heart desires in Jesus' name, because the angels of the Lord will always supply my needs right from the moment I'm thinking about them in Jesus' name. Lord, I worship you that you have heard my prayers. I say thank you, Lord, because from now on, your angels will always keep me safe and watch over me unto thy glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. John 14, verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen.